Hey everyone, this is Rich with PicoPros.com and I'm sitting in the dark with the AXA Technologies ST200 LED Pico Projector. What I'd like to do in this video is give you a demonstration of the display performance of the ST200 projector, uh, just so you get an idea of what it looks like and the quality of video that you can get from this projector. Uh, my setup here is that I have a laptop connected to the projector using an HDMI cable and I don't have the projector on right now I do have the laptop turned on and what I'm going to do is quickly show you how fast this projector turns on so what I'm going to do is turn the projector in three two one I flip the switch and we will wait for the projector to turn on we get the AXA logo and it displays my content. It is that simple, folks. All right, um, so here's my laptop. Uh, I don't have the projector too far away from the wall. It's about three feet away and probably getting about a 45 inch diagonal image. Now what I'd like to do is um, take the camera off the tripod here and if you can see my setup, I have my laptop in the background here connected to an HDMI port with the HDMI cable that goes to the projector right here and uh, you can sort of tell how far away from the wall it is. Um, it's really not far away from the wall at all. So one of the best things about this projector is that it is a ultra, it's a short throw projector which means that uh, to get a big image you don't have to be too far away from where you want to display that image. Uh, that's a really cool feature in a mobile projector. Uh, okay, so image looks good, nice and bright. Uh, I mean, definitely, definitely nice. One, one thing that I do have to, uh, I guess, complain about is the tripod that comes with the projector. It's not very sturdy. Uh, it does take some time to set the unit up uh, which is a little disappointing with the mobile projector. You kind of want to take it out of a bag and just start using it. But the, you know, once you get it set up, it's, it's really nice, but it does take some getting some setting up because I had to set it up on a tripod, make sure it's nice and sturdy. And then the, uh, the focus wheel, you do have to focus. It's a little tricky because if you have the top of the image a little bit further away from the bottom of the image or vice versa, uh, you know, the top may be, may be a little bit out of focus with the bottom being more, more in focus, which is a problem that I actually have with, with my demonstration here. It's a little bit out of focus towards the top, but it's very nice and clear at the bottom. Uh, things are very definitely readable. And let me just get into a couple uh, def different demonstrations here. So the first thing I'd like to pull up is just a simple Word document. So or actually this is just a PDF. So um, I, I just have this PDF and uh, judging the readability of the text, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it, it's not as crisp as the laptop, but uh, you know, it's 720p resolution, which is blown, you know, blown up uh, to about, uh, you know, again, 45 inch diagonal or so, uh, it's, it's not bad. It definitely is readable. Uh, it's definitely readable if I were to zoom in like this. Uh, that's, that's really nice. So uh, zooming way out gets a little tricky where see here it's very easy to read on my computer, but uh, not so much on the, on, the, uh, on the projector screen. Now if I zoom in for you, Hopefully that gives you an idea of the text. Um, let me see if I can focus that a little better for you. That's way out of focus. See, the tricky thing is focusing this thing. I think that's probably the best focus that I'm going to get in that area. Um, yeah, the thing about this is that uh, 
it's a little bit out of focus on the bottom now, but it's really nicely in focus where I, uh, right where that middle of the, uh, the screen is. So that is one challenge. Okay, let me move on to the website. So here's the actual website for the ST200, $300 on their website. They have a lot more information about the projector. Um, so you can, you can go to the website, browse that. It's AXA, A-A-X-A tech.com. Again, internal battery, uh, short throw. So if you're a foot away from the wall, you're going to get a 17 inch diagonal image. Again, I'm about three feet away from the wall. So I'm getting about 45, 50 inch diagonal image. Uh, so this is what you can expect. You don't need to be very far away to get a big, bright image. 150 uh, lumens, I believe, right here, 150 lumens. LED based, you're going to get a very, very long lamp life on this. So even if you don't want to pay $300, maybe you could find one on uh, eBay or Amazon for a little bit cheaper. Maybe get a used one. And uh, because it's LED and it's 15,000 hours of lamp life, I mean, a used one's going to have, still have a lot of, lot of life in it. So, but uh, in terms of the website readability, these links over here on the left hand side are a little tough to read. The stuff over here on the right, up on the upper right is uh, not too bad. Yeah, but the menu, menu on the left hand side is a little tough to read. So if I could zoom in here, uh, see how that, it's a little blurry, you know? And I don't think it's the focus on the camera. It's just, it, it's a, it is a little blurry. But if I were to go up on the right hand upper side, it's definitely a little bit more readable. Okay, so let me get out of there. And uh, yeah, so this is great for, I mean, not too bad for viewing webs, websites. Uh, the last thing I'd like to do is demonstrate this video game. Uh, now this is called Extreme Landings. Now I have not been able to get the audio working on the projector. So the audio that you were just listening to was actually from my computer. Um, I have the HDMI cable connected to the projector, but for some reason I, I'm not getting the, uh, the sound to work. Uh, and you know, I, I'm not entirely sure what, oh, so I could hear that. For some reason, I just can't hear. For some reason, I just can't play this game with audio. So uh, let me. Uh, but uh, anyway, let me play a video game for you real quick. Hope we'll bring the audio back in. So this is Extreme Landings. I'm not sure what this game is all about. I just downloaded it. I don't play too many video games. Looks like you have to uh, land a plane. I mean, for gaming, this projector is not too bad. Now, this is a great projector for gaming. Connect this to your uh, Xbox or something and uh, this will be definitely capable. I definitely think there was some challenges with some of the smaller text if you wanted to bring up a document or something like that. Uh, but that can be overcome with enlarging the text size. Game, this is actually, uh, this is nice. Nice bright image. From only three feet away, I'm getting about a 50 inch diagonal image. That's incredible. Uh, so to give you an idea of, of graphics performance or the uh, display performance, uh, you know, here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this game. And what I'd like to do is uh, just quickly
try to pull up a video on YouTube. So you could use um, YouTube videos. Hey everyone, this is Paul. All right, now what I'd like to do is try to send the audio. Okay, so. Okay, so I was able to get the audio working with the YouTube video. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get the audio with that with that game working. But uh, we have the audio being driven to the uh, projector right now. So if you can hear that, that's the audio. Let me switch back to the laptop. Now I'm back to the uh, projector. Uh, audio from the projector itself is, uh, well, not that great. I mean, we, we haven't typically seen very great audio built into pro Pico projectors. It would be nice to see uh, projectors like this with a nice audio, but uh, yeah, the audio is just not there with this one still. I mean, at half volume, it, it is still, you know, it's it's a bit distorted, uh, very trebly and that. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of great audio from a lot of projectors, but, you know, that's what it is. So, uh, I think that's about all that I'd like to review right now. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, at picopros.com. Leave a comment uh, on this video. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Uh, if we can't get in touch, if we can't answer your questions, uh, reach out to axatech.com, A-A-X-A, tech.com. I'm sure they'll be happy to answer any questions about this. This has been the Axa Technologies ST200 Pico Projector. Check it out, uh, and thanks for watching. All right, this has been Rich with Pico Pros dot com.